Our car tester Klaus Nietzwitz says one of the first cars he ever owned was a VW Golf. It's long been available with a diesel or gasoline engine. Now we're going to see how the new electrically powered version performs. When starting up, turn the key all the way forward. Make sure the parking lever is in P and the pointer is on blue. Then put it in gear and off you go. The Golf is Volkswagen's best-selling model. Now it comes in an all-electric version, which means Golfs can be had with every kind of engine. Other manufacturers develop the e-cars as separate models and produce them in separate factories. Volkswagen's e-Golf looks like conventional Golfs and is produced in Wolfsburg, Germany, in the same factory as they are. Our car tester says that when you get in, you don't notice much difference from a regular Golf, except for the energy recovery gauge. But when you pull into the service station, at the latest it's clear this isn't a conventional Golf. The e-Golf can fully recharge by being plugged into any standard power outlet for 13 hours. At commercial charging pillars, an 80% charge takes just 30 minutes. But there are still too few public charging stations. Our tester says the doubters will be disappointed to hear that the Eagle goes from zero to 60 kilometers an hour in just four seconds. That's plenty of speed for city driving. And the motor produces maximum torque from the first time it turns over through to the highest revs. The e-Golf is supposed to travel 190 kilometers on a full charge, if you drive with an eye to conserving energy. If you don't, the battery can be empty in half that distance. The driver controls the relationship between power and energy consumption with his driving style and the four energy regeneration levels. Klaus says the e-Golf drives very well, just like a normal Golf or Golf GTI, and he has no complaints about the brakes, which grip powerfully. The CO2 emissions level can't be beat. The car emits zero CO2. We asked passers-by in Berlin what they thought about the exhibited e-Golf. This woman thinks the e-Golf is great for the environment, but a 100-kilometer range is too short for her. She drives long distances. This man agrees that 180 kilometers is a bit short, but if the e-Golf doubled its range and halved its price, he'd be interested. But some people think it's a great idea. This man is enthusiastic and calls the car fantastic, super and chic. And this man thinks the car is great because he's in favor of progress in general. He says he'd buy an e-Golf. It looks smart and only the E in the logo distinguishes it from gasoline and diesel-powered Golfs. And if you're still wondering what an electric car's motor sounds like, listen closely. The e-Golf whispers. Sometimes the quiet drive can be disquieting. But all in all, the battery-powered engine has proved itself in everyday traffic. On the outside, the e-Golf is just like any other, except that the logos on the radiator grill and at the rear have one letter identifying the car as electric. Like other electric cars, the e-Golf does without an exhaust pipe. The interior is very much like other Golfs because, as the saying goes, never change a winning team. Klaus Nietzwitz sums up. He's surprised at how well the e-Golf functions. But you need to learn how to drive it, in particular how to use the energy regeneration system that recharges the battery when you take your foot off the accelerator or put on the brakes. And you must keep an eye on the charge level, because if the battery goes dead, nothing can save the situation. In Germany, the e-Golf has a starting price of just under 35,000 euros.